finish up today, Joe. It must be nice though to be back under the roof this weekend. Yeah, absolutely. We uh, we had a disappointing trip to Sydney last week, and uh, it's nice that it was a short week for us. We could get out, have a good hit out the other day, and a short one today, and, and we're back playing tomorrow. So uh, we're looking to uh, to come back a little bit harder this week and, and have put on a good showing for our fans. I heard he's obviously praised the effort of the uh, fill-in players, but is it yep. perhaps an endurance issue at this stage? They haven't obviously done full pre-season, so it's pretty hard playing four quarters against a team that has done that full pre-season? Oh, look, I feel like that uh, we've been very lucky to have these players come into our football club. And these are quality AFL players that, uh, for one reason or another, haven't been put on a list. And, and we'll, like I said before, we're very lucky to have these guys here. And, uh, I mean, I feel like it's more of a team thing. We haven't quite um, nailed our structures and nailed the way we want to play. And, and hopefully we'll come out tomorrow night and put on a better showing. There were some reports during the week that perhaps the fill-in guys weren't getting the full match plan that uh, you guys, for example, were getting, but apparently that's not correct. Yeah, I mean, these guys have come into our football club at very late notice, and uh, they've um, embraced our football club as much as uh, Essendon has embraced them, and, and we're very, very lucky to have these guys. Um, they've come on and um, you know put in their best effort on the ground, and, and they've been welcome in, in every meeting that we've had, and um, you know we are, like I said before, we're just lucky to have such quality AFL players you know, come in at late notice and help out this football club. Have they taken up that offer? Have they sat in every meeting with you guys? Yeah, mate, they've been very good, yeah. They've, uh, they've been open to listening and, and like you know, it's pretty hard to come into a football club who's been training together for, you know, we've been together for four months now since the pre-season and, and these guys have just opened up and tried to listen as much as they can and, and they've been great for us. Obviously, most clubs are sort of trying to play their best side as a round one tune-up this weekend. Yep. What do you sort of feel that you can get out of it? I mean, obviously, yep. it's going to be very different to the side that plays Sydney. What can you get out of it? Yeah, look, it's uh, it's a good chance to tune up and it's a good chance for our young players to get another crack at, at AFL football. and. Um, for guys in their first and second year, it is tough to come out and play AFL and, and to get a chance in the NAB Cup is really good and, uh, and like I said before, we are really disappointed at our showing last week against uh, Western Sydney and we're going to come out um, and, and put our best foot forward and, and this is our last tune up for round one so you know, we'll be cracking in. So we'll be obviously a different team to round one, um, you know, if, if the guys do get off, um, is there a concern that you know, such a a big chunk of your best 22 will have no match practice heading into the first round? Oh look, we've, uh, we've trained very solidly for pre-season and and pre-Christmas we had a, a really good workout and, um, and coming back after Christmas we've had plenty of match practice and, and we've trained the best uh, that we possibly could going into round one and obviously it's an unfortunate circumstance but um, the coaching staff and the fitness staff have put in a great plan for the rest of the players who can't be playing and uh, I'm sure that they'll be uh, ready to go round one. I think Bagley will perhaps come in this weekend, is that right? Yeah, yeah, very lucky to have Baggers back in the team and uh, you know he'll give us a bit of hardness around the contest so it's good to have Baggers back. In terms of the young guys, a couple of top drafts are going to play their first game as well? Yeah, look, uh, Jaden Laverde is going to come in and play his first game. He's, uh, he had a really good pre-season but uh, had, a, had a little hiccup with injury and uh, it's great to see him back now and, and uh, we're really excited to see Jaden and also Will Hams has, has been injured and uh, you know had an unfortunate run last year and it's really exciting for him to come back and uh, he'll give us a lot of grunts so the boys are really excited to play with Will. Just well, on personal your own game, Joe, um, you know, Lo had Lloydie on for the last few months. It already seems, I know it's very early, it already seems that you're reaping the remnants, your goal kicking seems a bit straight. Is that a direct result of Lloydie's influence? Yeah, look, I'm very happy to uh, have Lloydie back at the football club and, and I'm very lucky to work with him and, uh, you know, we've been working together for a few months now and uh, I feel like I'm a, a little bit more confident with my goal kicking. Not quite as consistent as I'd like just yet, but it's going to be something that I'm going to have to work on throughout my career and, and hopefully Lloydie's around for a long time. We can. We, continue working together. It seemed like you were throwing your, your weight around a little bit last week. Is that a concerted effort to be a bit more aggressive? Has that been an instruction from, no. from anyone? Look, I don't think so. I mean, it's a part of my game that needs to improve. There's no doubt about that. And uh, it's going to continue to develop. But um, for me, that was probably a little bit of frustration last week. And uh, I was very excited to get out there and play footy. But, um, you know, I was probably just a little bit little bit late in that one. And, uh, you know, but, you know, I'll keep working on that. What's the number one focus tomorrow night? Is it game time into key plays? Is it structures? Is it scoreboard? What are you most interested in? Yeah, look, it's it's another good chance for us to fine tune everything we've been working on through the pre-season and, and get it right for round one because this is our last uh, actual game before round one, even though we've got a couple of weeks of training left. And uh, you know we're going to uh, work on the structures, we're going to crack in and, and hopefully fine tune ourselves as good as we can for round one. As a forward, uh, what are your thoughts on the countdown clock you know, for set shots? Oh, look, I don't think it's probably the best initiative. <laughs> I'd like uh, probably two minutes to get through my routine, but. Um, Oh look, it's the AFL trying something and uh, there's no better time to try things than in the NAB Cup, so uh, we'll see how it works. Just on your own, you're, you're in with goal kicking in the first few years of your career, you seem to be a bit unpredictable. Yep. Um, is, that, is that more of a technique thing or is that a mental thing or was it a bit of both? Oh, I think as a young player you come into the AFL and, and it is a different 
environment. I mean, the game's played at a completely different speed and, and when you are having your shots a goal, you end up more fatigued than you are playing at a lower level. So for me, that was something that I had to get used to and, and now I'm slowly getting used to it. But as I said before, you know, I want to get that consistency right up and uh, hopefully it continues moving forward. Does Kieran you talk to you about from a mental perspective? Has he talked, you know, coach you on the mental side of the game as well as your technique? Yeah, look, he's done that a little bit, but I feel like for us, uh, it's been working around my technique and, and making sure that it's the same every time. And, um, you know, that'll help my consistency. And um, hopefully, you know, before too long, that, um, you know, starts to get a little bit better. Given we haven't seen Michael Hurley or Jake Carlisle for, for obvious reasons, yep. it means that you're possibly leading the, the forward line. Is that, is that something you, you want to embrace? Is that something you want? Yeah, look, it's a, it's been a great opportunity for myself and, and Kyle Langford and Paddy Ambrose to, to get some quality time in the forward line. And, and uh, you know, when these guys come back into the team, there might be not so many spots for us. And uh, you know, we're looking to improve as best we can while uh, these guys aren't there. And, and hopefully we can do that tomorrow night with another chance. How much, how much bigger are you than, than this time last year? Uh, I put on a little bit of weight. Um, yeah, not too much, but I feel, feel like I'm a lot fitter. I had a, had a good pre-season with uh, not too many hiccups. So uh, I feel like I'm running a lot better and uh, hopefully that continues uh, later into the season. So with, baggers, with Baggers in and the four boys who played against and killed, obviously mm -hmm. the anonymity has come down a bit. Does that concern the playing group at all or is it, do, they, do they care? Oh, look, it's been an unfortunate situation the whole time going through. and. Uh, we probably thought we'd had a result by now coming into the last NAB Cup, so the situation has changed and uh, as a playing group we're just very excited to have Baggers back. He's one of our toughest uh, players and it's just good to have him in the team, especially with such a young side. So Baggers is going to offer a wealth of experience coming in tomorrow night and uh, very happy to have him back in the team. How are the fellas holding up with, you know, it's obviously less than two weeks now before I guess D-Day, the yep. fellas, how are they holding up with? Yeah, look, the guys are going really well. They're training really hard and, and they're just preparing themselves the best they can for round one. And, I feel like uh, when round one comes along, um, you know, everyone will be pleasantly surprised at how fit and ready to go these guys are. And just um, last year, one of the big issues, I guess, for Eston was the sort of the, the cohesion of the, the key forwards, I guess. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you guys feel like you're over the teething problems of that and you're ready, you're ready to sort of hit this year running and that sort of stuff? Yeah, look, last year we had a, a very young forward line, which was exciting, but uh, we hadn't played a lot of footy together. Mm -hmm. and, and with another sun, summer under our belt, we feel like that, you know, we've had that time to work together and, and hopefully that just uh, evolves into continual improvement. And that's what we're after, and, and we're looking forward to having the guys back in the side. And, and uh, not only that, we've got Chappie and Brendan Goddard and guys with the wealth of experience to play there too. So, um, you know, I feel like it'll, it'll come a long way since last year.